Hi, I'm Mark Brace, Head of Analysis at Osprey Flight Solutions with this week's update. This week, the Osprey system has registered well over 2,500 incidents and the analysis team has published 35 alerts since last Thursday, of which eight were critical. As well as detailing yet more Houthi drone and missile attacks into Saudi Arabia, along with associated shootdowns and further Israeli strikes into Syria last night, one of those critical alerts highlighted the increased military and political tensions between Russia and Ukraine, a situation we've been monitoring closely. While there's been an increase in military movements, uh, this is in line with levels seen in recent years um, with regard to military activity in the form of ceasefire violations in eastern Ukraine, as this Osprey Explore chart covering the last three years shows. While it has increased in recent weeks, uh, it's well below levels seen in 2019 and lower than those earlier this year in April. For further detail, we've published a case study assessing the evolving airspace uh, risk environment in the region and the links in the post. Another alert um, highlighted revised German regulatory advice to operators now allowing overflight of Afghanistan. While international efforts to improve the security situation at Kabul airport uh, continue, progress has been made in uh, improving the airspace operating environment. However, it remains to be seen whether other major regulatory bodies will follow the Germans in easing restrictions. On the 14th of December at Cucuta Airport in Norte de Santander Department in Colombia on the border with Venezuela, two explosions killed three people in a terrorist attack. One device apparently killed the perpetrator as they were trying to breach the airfield fence, while a second one later detonated nearby as explosive specialists were checking it. While the attribution remains unclear, the authorities have highlighted similarities with previous attacks by the ELN and dissident FARC rebels. And they've indicated that soldiers and military aircraft on the ground at the airport may have been the intended target. We'll issue further alerts on this as more details emerge. In COVID-related news, reactions to the continued spread of the Omicron variant have differed this week. While Nigeria announced reciprocal flight bans on countries, including the UK, where Nigeria has been added to travel red lists, the UK government announced it was removing 11 African countries, including Nigeria, from its red list, as the Omicron variant has spread so widely that this measure was no longer considered useful in slowing it. Elsewhere, numerous governments such as Canada are advising against travelling or, or tightening entry restrictions, like France. And Ghana has announced strict vaccination guidelines for inbound airline passengers and heavy fines for carriers flouting those rules. And finally, uh, last week police were called to the International Airport in Las Vegas after a man breached the security gate in a limousine, drove among aircraft before parking next to one, then threatened to detonate a bomb when confronted, reportedly whilst wearing a clown mask. A hoax device was uh, found made from a fire extinguisher and wiring in his car, um, and he was arrested for threatening terroristic acts, dispersing a hoax substance and trespassing. The man reportedly claimed he wanted to steal a jet so that he could fly to the infamous Area 51 to see aliens. Thanks for watching. Please follow us on LinkedIn and join us again next week.